morning YouTubers. Right, uh, <coughs> Fabriano, £130 here. This is on the back of a previous demo, which I... It was alright as a demo, but... I look at it now and think, ooh, save a piece of paper and paint over it. Over it. And if, if it, this one turns out it well, a saleable one, I can always coat the back with a bit of black acrylic <coughs> to obliterate it. <coughs> the board's about 25 degrees, I would say, 25. Uh, right, I'm going to put a bit of Oceano on there. Uh, I think I can centre the light. I'm not sure what I'm going to do really, but but just do a one with the the light. Centred in the, through the middle, and we'll have a bit of a bit of ultramarine, a bit of alizarin, I think. You do this. It's a bit streaky with the height because there's not a lot of water on it, on it, and it does tend to split. But let's. Uh, my paint's a bit sloppy because I I loaded up last night, well yesterday afternoon. At this stage, you can sort of do everything. That's really annoying. That's. That's split. Okay, we got a bit darker on the top there, a bit more blue in there. Okay. Oh, I saw some photographs on WhatsApp sent by a friend from his friend in Portugal. And I know this chap because he visits me when he's over here. He likes my paintings. <coughs> um, Braga, is it Braga in Portugal? Awesome. The fires there surrounded. It's awful. So... If you're watching Nunu, no, no, I hope you're okay. If you weren't, I would have heard by now. Okay, so we'll just, just let that go off a little bit. I think I'll dry it. So headphones off, or mute your sound, or wind forward. That'll do, don't want it bone dry. Uh, let's uh, put in some bit of mystery. The hairs are coming out of this brush now. I'll put in a bit of Bit of background there. Okay, let's put a bit of sienna in there. Keep the horizon a bit straight. Okay, let's, let's bring that one down there. 
Yeah. Need to change the Just a quickie really. I wasn't going to do one like this. Put in some brighter colours in the foreground here, a bit of orangey, cabin yellow. Bit of grey in there, paint's grey. Just a sort of a shore. Okay, now let's have a go with the uh, card. <coughs> have a swig of tea. I'm going to phone Alan Owen. Uh, we spend a lot of time on the. on the phone. We don't criticise other people, other artists, or anything like that. We just share. We're both on Patreon. So have a look if, if you're of a mind. Just put some in here. Can overdo this, and I like overdoing it. It's use that scraper just to separate the background. Just reclip the paper because it's scraping the high spots and not the flat spots. You don't need to stretch your paper. I've been using a lot of uh, of uh, ninety pound paper, which is really really nice. Rough ninety pound rough. Okay, so now a bit of, bit of detail now. Uh -huh. right, finish my tea, <laughs> back to the hake. So, um, I'm going to dry that so I can put some detail on shadows and stuff in. I think I'll put in some uh, some trees along that horizon now. A bit of burnt sienna and a bit of ultramarine.
if you paint a bit of dark on the horizon you can lift out for lots and things. It's easier to do on this paper than the rough paper. This isn't, well it's, it's not um, rough paper but it's it's certainly got a grain on it. You see that when, when the paper dries and it starts to accept dry brushing. Okay, we're going up here with it. Okay, let's put some blue, bluish trees on the top of this. Okay, now we can go in some darker detail on those rocks. Just some bushes and coming down here. The hake is a very good brush to to do this with. I, I love the hakes, that's why I use them and try to share, share it with you. Let's have a little bit of greeny. Right, a bit over the other side, let's have a bit of green in there, a bit of blue, a bit of cad yellow. Well, I need to connect, put a tree or something on that side. Right, now let's uh, get a bit of bit of grey, bit, bit of blue, bit of bit of amber. Right, 
Now I reckon we could put in some autumn colours on here. It's a contrast to uh, Put some rigor work in this as well. Some darks in here. Right, okay, let's do some rigor work on there. Nearly done then. Okay, that's coming on. Just a little bit the other side. to dry that and just give that a little bit of a dry brush across, across the middle there just gets on that colouring. Right, I'll use my a medium hake for this, this is a 30mm one. So we want a bit of blue, a bit of alizarin. A little bit of light red in there. Okay, that'll do. Uh, dry it off. Um, I'll put a little focus point in. Uh, I don't want to do it with white, a bit of white gouache. Let's just put that one in there. Okay. Well, <laughs> I think I'm doing too much, is it? <coughs> okay, a couple of birds.
Okay, let's put a sequence on it. I think that's better than uh, than the one on the other side. Let's put it on the mount and I'll zoom out. Quite a dark painting, so I should look right in that now. Okay, so there we are, sort of a a Lakeland one. Quite quite gentle. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, have a look at my YouTube, my Patreon channel if you so disposed. It's, it's completely. Uh, non-committal. Just have a look at it, see what we're up to. Alright, okay. Right, well thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye bye.